Hey guys, Farm LLC here. Today is May 28th, but we're in Indianapolis, so that means race day. <laughs> day before Memorial Day. Wanted to give a quick whatnot update. I tried three actually, very different whatnots this week. The first one I tried, the end of the week, I was doing some or trying to do some bundles. I had promised the audience that I was gonna try to live stream from Springfield, Ohio's antique extravaganza. That didn't work. Why that didn't work, they literally, when you walk through the booths, especially in the in buildings, there are trays of jewelry. Just like when you go to the jewelry vendors, there's just a ton of stuff. So that plus the lighting was kind of weird and there was just a lot of people and I just decided it was just too much. So what I did was I had a show with some of the jewelry that I bought in bulk at Springfield. The first one I tried was a $5 bundle. That didn't work so well. So then I did, I was watching Adam, who is one of the jewelry dealers. His whole thing is $1 sudden death five seconds so i used that model and tried it the next day at a one dollar start sudden death 15 seconds so i wasn't as gutsy enough to do a five second but i did i tried the 15 second had a lot more bites and nibbles and people who actually bought things so that was a good thing and then today on whatnot i did a very different one i did one not really to sell product per se but a book related whatnot that was private. So I only shared it with my kind of professional audience. So I made it a closed whatnot or a private link. And that was kind of on career development for early to mid career professionals in healthcare. And that one went really well too, cause I think I introduced whatnot to some newbies, number one, which was really good. And then number two, I really, my very favorite thing about whatnot is you get to interact real time with your audience. So I think that is like the coolest thing of all time. It's the goat. I did sell some products after all, I was kind of surprised cause I didn't really realize during, you know, the chat we were having that anybody was buying anything. I just put all the books that I had for sale in the buy now rather than running auctions. And I just talked the whole time. So that was really interesting and I think powerful because it kind of blends my professional world and this really cool platform that is whatnot. Having tried a couple of different formats, next Saturday night, as always, I'll be having my weekly kind of jewelry, kitsch, what I'm calling dopamine dressing show. So it's all about bright colors, Roy G. Biv, 100%. We've got the red stuff, orange stuff, yellow stuff, green stuff, blue stuff, purple stuff and then all the colors. So I'm super excited about that one. I'm thinking about actually inviting only people that have purchased from me. So my buyers to a pre-sale before I do the public sale Saturday night. I'm thinking about that. I'm actually thinking about that for Memorial Day tomorrow. We'll see if I do it. TBD on that. Otherwise, thank you so much if you've been following my whatnot story. Super excited to share with you all. I really do believe that this platform is really a cool tool for education. And after having ran the whatnot today around career development and circuitously selling some books that I had no idea I was even going to sell, I'm a fan. I think we can use it for different ways. It's a tool. It is not something that has to only be used one way. And that's my lesson I've learned this week, checking the box on whatnot. At Farm LLC, please go over there. I've got several shows coming up. I'm trying to do one, at least one every Saturday night, 7.01 p.m. Eastern time. The next one is on dopamine dressing. So it's coming up. Until next time, take care.